Hi, you guys. My name is Courtney J. Oh my god, I lost my voice, so I sound like an ashtray. And we are live in action. If my camera will stay up, the reason why I haven't been vlogging. Okay. The reason why I haven't been vlogging ever since I made it back from my trip is because I lost my voice. I auditioned at a new club and I lost my voice right after my audition. However, I sound a little bit better. So I was like, why not vlog? I believe it's Easter. I don't celebrate holidays, so I, don't, I really don't know. I don't keep track of it. However, I do have a reservation so where i'm currently at i'm like a few hours away from charlotte so um i'm going to most likely not get any rest because it's almost 6 a.m i'm gonna shower i'm going to do my hair i'm gonna like straighten it for the um for the brunch and then i've said to the bank if i can and then I had there, change all my clothes. But I just have a lot to do. However, I wanted to share with you guys my experience the past four days. I auditioned originally at this one club and they didn't hire me. And I didn't feel a way about it because I've been practicing, like enjoying the experience. And then with some gentlemen's clubs in the South, they have a ratio of how many black girls that they hire per white girls. And I was just kind of surprised because the club wasn't big at all. Like, I really think it's a, just a couple sizes bigger than my club in Charlotte, you know what I'm saying? So it wasn't anything like extra extravagant, but it was still cool. I just, so I was just really confused <coughs> on why they even have the ratio in the first place. But it's okay though, because then my intuition was like, let's go on Google and let's go to this, this club. It used to be called, I'm not going to say the name of it, but it used to be called something and basically that club was getting sued from what I remember. And when I looked on Google, it was under a different name. So I was like, you know what? We're just gonna try it out, you know? And I'm so happy I did. Cause the universe was like, that club didn't work out, that this club is. So I go for the audition. I got there literally right before nine o'clock. Immediately I was like, this club is so big which I manifested. I manifested being in a really like nice big club. And at my club up north is a really nice size and I have a whole nother building for the after hours. So I was like, I like this. I love the house mom. Um, there's two, the house moms, they have food, they have, um, drinks they have food everything outfits like if you guys watch christina v i don't know how to say her last name but christina Villegas or something like that on youtube the one in chicago the house moms at my club are like her house mom and i've always wanted to experience that so i'm really happy that i got to Please bear with me if I sound crazy, guys. I really still wanted to put content out for you. So basically how the audition went, I went on a stage. It doesn't have a main pole. It's like a cage. And if you follow me on Instagram, I have a video up on this on that stage that I auditioned on. So it was really like simple. And the house mom was like, so we can offer you a contract tomorrow you gotta go back tomorrow we'll get you with the contract and i was so happy however the first thing i noticed was how many um, ethnic girls they had there because i remember what it was called before in that same exact club in charlotte 
does not hire a lot of ethnic women. So I think because this club got bought out or something, or it's under new management or owners, whatever the case may be, I highly think that's why they have more ethnic girls. And it's a nice mix of girls. It's giving me up north vibes, literally. It's so big. Food is nice. Upstairs, downstairs. Like, literally. It is so nice in that club. They have sweets. Upgraded sweets. They have, like, a downstairs and more sweets. A shower thing. Beating for some. Like, it's really nice. My first night was Wednesday. I got hired on Tuesday. First night was Wednesday. And I only worked for like two hours. Generated over 400. Came home with like 390 something. Because I tipped out of course. I tip out every stage set that I have. When I have like a good bit of money. I tip out as I go. And the staff there are so nice. Like really really nice. I couldn't talk okay. So I had to basically work this week. Without being able to talk. So my first night, it was strictly stage money. Strictly stage money. And then my second night, which was that Thursday, I pulled a double. The day shift wasn't that busy. And then it picked up for nighttime. And it was like really like sad for a little bit. And then towards the end of the night, this guy did an hour with me for a thousand and you know the club gets a percentage of it and I was only back there with him for like 20 minutes so he just let me keep the rest and the club was about to close so I got 600 out of that so in total that night I got like over 900 it really takes one customer like it was really slow for me and then Friday I did day shift got um over 400 probably close to 500 because you know they you pay out the house however at this club we can make our own prices management doesn't care as long as we pay however much the dances are but it's like 13 dollars for vip and we can make up our own prices and then i left early because i decided to try this urban club I was excited and enjoy myself. It just made me realize why I don't do smaller urban clubs because it's like it's just too much roaching going on. Like I'm a hundred percent comfortable going up to people and just shaking my ass. Like I got to that point in my journey because even at my new clubs up north and stuff, it's bigger, so you have to talk to people. So that wasn't the problem. The problem was once people got into the VIP section of the club it's small so if girls are already in certain areas of this small space and they have ones on the floor where else can you dance you know what i'm saying and then i don't like how people be slow tipping it was like you have girls doing a lot dancing on this hard ass tile floor and these dudes have the nerves to tip slow. Girls still got their bag, clearly, you know. I just think that in some instances, you're doing more for less. I'd rather dance for a few people and get my bag that over me, over dancing. And this one guy literally wasted his drink on my ass as he was tipping me. And I most definitely told him to pay me more. Funny because he was like, how much are you dance? I was like, 30. He was like, 30. I was like, damn. Let me remember where I'm at. I'm like, 10. <laughs> so that was shit. The tip out was $200. Um, I'm happy I went for the experience and that I was able to, you know, realize that. I am capable of just shaking my ass in front of people. Literally got like 197 that night. So I think that if I would have stayed at my club, I most definitely would have got way more. And then now we're at Saturday. And this is what I have in ones. 
I did mostly dances um, tonight because Paige was not that busy. Tens. Twenties. And then off rip, like within my first hour there, this guy got a 30 minute room with me for 300. And then later on throughout the night, he got another one for 300. So, yeah, I was very pleased with today. And I made sure to go up to whoever was accessible. Like, and then this one guy tipped me 20s on the side stage. Yeah, he tipped me like $100 in 20s. And then I had to give 40 to my club for the rent. I've had a very successful first week at this new club, like, for real, for real. So, for Saturday, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 1,000, is what I came home with after I tipped out the staff because I love them. So if you guys want to include what I take out of the dances, then obviously I generated way more than a 1,000. Um, and this is what I just came home with. And the club opened at 7. I didn't get there till like 8.30ish. And I didn't get on the floor until like 9. And the club closed at 5. And only got on stage a few times. And I made sure to stay in that VIP. Because I always charge extra. So yeah, that is that's it for the money count. Um, If I like it out here where I'm at, then I can see myself moving out here. I really think I just outgrew Charlotte and the Charlotte clubs. And that's why I stayed committed to working even though my voice was gone. Because I just know what I deserve. And I manifested all of this. I know what type of money I desire to earn monthly, weekly. And I know that every investment pays off. Because I detach from how much I'm spending. Because money always flows, you know? And either way, stuff has to get done. I have a life to live. And I have dreams to achieve. So, once I have my mind set on something and I get myself out of my comfort zone, I'm destined to make stuff work. So, I pray that that's what you guys get out of my content. To give yourself the life that you deserve. Breakfast before the road. Hey you guys, so we are at, oh now you want to show your face. No. We, um, we are at some, what is it, red steak. Saki. Saki, red sake. <laughs> it is a sushi restaurant. And the pollen is still pollening. We're basically just wasting time until our reservation. Because my father figure um, asked us to do dinner with him. How are you feeling? Great. Yeah. Ready to eat again. Uh, <laughs> that was yeah. a little awkward on camera. Yeah. It's okay. <laughs> hey, hey. Huh? You look great. But, um, yeah. But Hey you guys, I totally forgot that I was vlogging. I've had an amazing five hours of running errands and shopping. So, I went to the nail salon as you guys saw. I love French manicure, that's my favorite. 
I went to Ulta Beauty, I went to Marshalls, and then I went to Harris Teeter. And I already started eating, my bad, but as you can see, I got fried chicken, salmon, mac and cheese, and greens. Hey you guys, it is currently 7.44. Peppa is with her sitter now, and I finished eating and watching Deara's documentary part one. And I just want to say that it is so refreshing to see someone have a very healthy upbringing and a healthy childhood. And I say that because, you know, a lot of people that are famous or known or whatever, a lot of them came from like the hood or toxic households and I'm not famous yet, not saying that I want to be famous. I'd rather just have my community of people that I know about me and I just, you know, attract many opportunities through my community. You know, like, for me personally, I guess I never shared this, um, I don't desire to be famous in a sense where everybody's going to be looking into what I'm doing and paparazzi and stuff. I don't desire to be paparazzi famous. I'd rather just have my community of people that know what I am, well, <laughs> that know who I am, what I do, what I've done, where I've grown from, and I'm able to create many different outlets through my creativity and just continue to, like, meet people along the way that align with me. That's really what I desire out of all of this, and I really just enjoy just showcasing my life and being on camera. <laughs> That's the point that I was saying though. It's really nice and refreshing to see someone have a healthy upbringing versus other people that didn't have a healthy upbringing, including myself. And it's just nice to know there's influencers out there that did grow up with a wholesome family. You know, not everything has to be perfect, but you know, just one had a healthy upbringing, a healthy experience with high school, you know. And it's great to know that you don't have to suffer in life. Where I'm at in my new timeline, I don't believe in suffering or going through hardships. You know, I don't believe in that. We all have to go through our own experiences. However, I don't think that you have to go through endangerments and then some to quote unquote have a life or learn lessons. You know, you can learn from other people's mistakes without you having to undergo the same experiences, if you know what I mean. So it's really nice to just see how Deira's family and lifestyle is really wholesome. And it goes to show that the way somebody is brought up does have an impact on how they are as an adult. So I went to Ulta. They did not have my Fix and Glow by Revolution setting spray that I absolutely fell in love with. They didn't have it in stock. Save your receipts for your taxes. So they didn't have that. So I had to find a replacement or a dupe. So I got this by Urban Decay. All Nighter Ultra Glow Long Lasting Makeup Setting Spray. All day wear temperature control technology and is lightweight. Ultra Glow Finish. No makeup cracking or fading, lightweight and comfortable, keeps skin fresh. Skin feels replenished and refreshed and moisturized. Skin looks healthy and dewy. <laughs> That's what it says. So I'm excited to try it. I really, really, really liked how the one by Revolution smelled. And I loved how it was pink. If you guys saw that vlog and you saw how it looked when I used it, I just fell in love, you know. Can y'all believe I'm into makeup now and like setting sprays? <laughs> this is so insane. And then next I got this lip injection extreme extreme by Too Faced in the color Strawberry Kiss. Instant and long-term lip plumper. Obviously, my lips are already plump thanks to my genetics. However, I like to be extra. And I've used this before. Now, does it plump my lips? <laughs> my lips are already plump, so I think it might 
I think it might give it a little bit more plumpness or roundness or whatever on top of my lip liner. I don't know. I like it. So this was $33. This was $32 or $29 or $30. It was something. It was something. And then I like the tingling sensation on my lips. So, I mean, you can't go wrong with a good palette. Oh my God, I didn't even notice the design on it on the top. That's really pretty. And then I have my Ultra Creamy Tarte Concealer. Yeah, Shape Tape Ultra Creamy Concealer. It's 24 hours lasting. And it is very moisturizing. I used the smaller container. So I wanted to get a bigger container because I ran out of that concealer really, really fast. I have the color 57N Rich. That's what I use on my skin. I love concealer. Like when I do my makeup, I only use concealer, eyeshadow, blush, and highlighter, lip liner, lip gloss, and my setting spray. Like that's what I use on my makeup. And I like, you know, the early 2000s, 90s, mid 2010s era makeup look vibe. Like the vibrant, cute, blushy, like look. I went to Marshalls and I went for one or two things initially. I went to go get my dog some doggy treats and something else. Did I leave with that? No, because that never happens when you go to Marshalls. I also got this. Uh, am I the only person that takes off the price tag? I don't like it on my stuff, but I'll do that later. Um, I got this East and West Aromatherapy Pillow Spray Eucalyptus. Calm infused with essential oil. This is what I got. So now, since I'm gonna be traveling a lot, I'm gonna try this out. So I'm really excited to try it. Like my hotel room is about to smell freaking amazing. Okay. I also bought this lemon custard home fragrance by AP Fragrance, and I love this stuff. Like normally, my mom would get room sprays from other stores besides like Febreze and stuff. And then I saw my sister have a container, but she didn't buy it from her, she just bought it from somewhere else. And I was like, Courtney, why don't you just do the same thing? So that's what I got, lemon custard. And then I got this perfume. Now I normally don't get perfumes in these type of bottles anymore. Now that I get like Burberry, Carolina Herrera, Chanel, like, those type of bottles however i was like this looks really interesting and i love these colors i just have a thing for the rose gold colors this is literally the same color as my setting spray i just love these colors if you guys ever want to send me anything for my birthday if you have anything that looks like this i will love it okay it's miami vibes guest by guess and it's a shimmer fragrance mist and i don't like perfumes that have that alcoholy strong smell i like for my perfumes to have a scent that's different you know like her by burberry is the perfect example of the type of perfume scents that i like her by burberry is amazing by the way i got this rose hip all over body oil i saw this on the way to check out I have more than enough oils and I use like my shea butter and coconut oil however I'm extra and so I got this and it's a it's an all-over body oil with deeply hydrating benefits that promote smoother skin and then I got this smooth and sheen facial exfoliating duo clean and refresh by Cala because you know Marshalls has literally everything and this deep cleanser is in completely with a new skin with this convenient exfoliating duo. Teardrop shape is perfect for hard to reach areas such as around the eyes and nose. The silicone cleansing brush, which I'm assuming is this brush, um, invigorates and massages the skin with fine flexible bristles that increase circulation for a healthy glow. And then the exfoliating sponge gently exfoliates as it lathers product and buffs away dead skin cells and impurities. And then I got this microfiber headband. And I love this color. Orange is my favorite color. I like anything that's rose gold, 
or orange, peach, sunset colors. Like, that's my vibe. That is my vibe. I got this Simple Sensitive Skin Experts um, Exfoliating Wipes. Double Blend Cleansing and Exfoliating. And then I got this Natural Wooden Dry Brush. Detoxifies and exfoliates, massages, firms, and tones. And they say it's a great pre-shower body treatment. Start from the furthest parts of your body away from the heart. Brush gently with long, even strokes towards your heart. Doing this helps to increase blood circulation and promote lymphatic drainage. And then you rinse your skin when you're done. And then I got this Charcoal Nose Pore Cleansing Strips. I always thought that they were cat. But something was like, let's just try it to be extra. And it's supposed to cleanse and unlock pores. Lifting away impurities to make pores appear smaller. Skin feels cleaner and looks smoother. So you wash your face and then you just put it on your nose when it's wet. Because the strip won't stick to your nose when it's not wet. And you put it on for 10 to 15 minutes until it feels stiff. And then once it dries, you carefully pull it off starting at the edges going towards the center of the nose. I bought another pumic stone because the one that I had that I had to brush to literally like cheat broke on me. So I bought something that was way prettier. And I got a, a whole pack of cosmetic sponges for $7. Literally like so many different shapes. So I'm excited to use it for like my concealer. And then I got this satin sweet mask because we bougie. So yeah, I got this. I'm really excited. And it's supposed to help protect your skin um, it can help reduce dark circles and slow the aging process. It says your skin makes new collagen when you sleep, leaving your skin plumper and less likely to wrinkle. I didn't know that our skin makes new collagen when we sleep. Alright, and then lastly, I got this satin pillowcase, smoother skin and healthier hair. See, a part of me was aware that satin was good for your hair you know like back when i started my natural hair journey however i didn't think that it had an effect on our skin which makes sense and it says that studies have shown that sleeping on a satin pillowcase can reduce wrinkles and help eliminate hair loss and breakage as you age the sleep wrinkles that develop overnight do not disappear as quickly as they once did and may become permanent. This can leave you looking old and tired. But eliminate those wrinkles before they start by sleeping on this. Your face glides smoothly over the silky satin, keeping lines and wrinkles to a minimum. When your head moves on a cotton pillowcase, friction develops that can damage and break hair. Because your head slides smoothly over this, that damaging friction is eliminated, hair is healthier. That is so cool. And then this obviously helps keep the pillow in case, keep the pillow in place. Still take care of yourself no matter what. Money flows, money circulates all the time. All the time. So that is it for this video, you guys. I pray that you guys enjoyed it. Let me know your beauty secrets and your beauty tips and what things that you use when you go to sleep and yeah until next time my beautiful beautiful souls like comment and subscribe for more videos from your favorite youtuber until next time stay up stay beautiful and remember that you are the creator of your reality